It's great. I know, right? Get some lemonade and hang out and enjoy it. It's hot. Yeah, that sounds delicious. <laughs> we we'll get you thirsty. Uh, it's not now. not hot out there. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, we are going to see temperatures warming up into the weekend, but we are going to take a look at our tropical outlook because hurricane season is still going on. Uh, right now, we've got a 10% chance, so the National Hurricane Center continues to weaken the tropical wave. This is Invis 94L uh, as it moves just north of many of those Caribbean islands. 50% chance of development now in the Western Caribbean Sea. This is the area now known as Invest 95L that has a better shot at developing. So what's steering these systems is high pressure so and low pressure over Central America. But first, high pressure is what's brought Invest 94L, the first wave that we've been tracking all week, to the Caribbean. It is now interacting, going to interact with a cold front that has moved through. We, we felt that front, remember? Uh, and so that's what's really weakening this system. This one over Central America is is going to move west just as the high pressure does so as well. So high pressure is expected to set up over the Gulf of Mexico as we head into the weekend. That's not going to limit our rain though because what that's going to do is only help bring up some of that Gulf moisture. This is high up in the upper levels of the atmosphere, but we'll get some Gulf moisture coming up and so that's going to add a little bit to our rain opportunity here as well. But the good news is this system looks to stay out of the Gulf of Mexico as it tracks west into Central America. It does have a 50% chance of developing over really the next 24, 48 hours before it does make some sort of landfall there. Uh, also, this is Southern Mexico more so than Central America. So yeah, that's what we're looking at in terms of the tropics. We'll break down everything you need to know for your weekend forecast coming up. Lexus John Thomas.